Hi and welcome to our first past paper review video. Today we are going to look at a human and social biology paper from 2011 and in this video I will cover part of question one. Keep it short and sweet. Okay so let's get started. Now before I start I would like you to take note of how I have this document set up. This is how I would set up a past paper review with my students at Simone's Caribbean Online Learning, where I give online tutoring to students that are studying for CXC exams. Right, so you don't have to read everything on the side, just know that this is how I generally set it up. It's not just the questions and some answers. It's also any little extra pointers, a little extra information, some advice, some tips, etc., that would apply to the question at hand. All right, so let's look at question one really quickly. The Caribbean region often experiences outbreaks of dengue and sometimes malaria. I won't read out everything for you, but let's look at the first part. So the first part of the question asks, asks us to name the vector that transmits dengue and the vector that transmits malaria. Now, both of them transmi are transmitted by mosquitoes. However, they are transmitted by different species of mosquitoes. So it is very important in this case to be able to tell the difference and to give the correct name for each one. So for dengue, it's Aedes aegypti, and for malaria, it's Anopheles um, species of mosquito. All right, one mark for each, and you're good to go. Now, second part, part two. Now they're asking us to basic to name the organism that causes dengue. That is really easy. Dengue virus is the answer. Uh, it's a very simple um, um, answer for that one. Okay, so moving on to part three. State two signs or symptoms of dengue. In this case, you can give two signs, two symptoms, one of each, doesn't matter. Um, but it's also really important to know the difference between the two. Again, as, as I would normally do for my students, this is one of those areas I would give a little pointer at the side, right? But in this case, I just gave several symptoms, several signs, and, you know, you just choose to you state where they are, and you're good to go, right? We have the ones that, come, that are well known to most of us, severe joint pains, fever, and then some of those that are not as well as well known, like skin sensitivity and rash. Okay, so that's two signs or symptoms of dengue. Moving on, right, identify one method of preventing the spread of dengue. Now, this one I would like us to, I, I always try to tell my students, think strategically, think in terms of strategy. And for this one, I try to describe the strategy in terms of an acronym called CAD, called KILL. Avoid disrupt. Kill, as in kill the adult mosquitoes with, with insecticide. A, avoid. So that includes wearing your long sleeve shirts, using a mosquito net around the bed, etc. And disrupt, which is the one most of us are most, would tend, the answer we tend to turn to more, most often would include things like covering your water containers, turning over empty containers so they don't collect water, draining swamps, etc. And that's it. Now B talks about look at graphs, interpreting, interpreting graphs and drawing graphs. But that will be another video where I will take the time to go over in detail the process of drawing a graph, plotting a graph, and analyzing data as presented on a graph. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And 
stay tuned for further videos. Goodbye.